Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I should be embarrassed because this is the first time I've actually sat down in 2023 and filmed a video and it's actually the 7th of March. I should be ashamed of myself. But guys, I'm back. And for those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Tally G and this channel is all about me taking you guys along for the journey with me as I build this clothing brand as well as dropping tips, tricks, gems and all of that good stuff. So if you're a clothing brand or an aspiring clothing brand and you're interested in that kind of content, please be sure to subscribe the little thing will be down here so you don't even have to click off the video you just click that thing there and you can subscribe to this channel in this video I am going to be tackling the harsh truth as to why clothing brands fail for those of you that have been watching my channel for a while you know that I'm not like on this like negativity but sometimes you need to hear a couple truths in order to get past it excel and get on with it so let's get into this video the first mistake that could ruin your business that small clothing brands make is starting off too big ambition is great and I encourage all of you to have as much ambition as you can but sometimes within the clothing brand space if you start off with like a hundred t-shirts selling a hundred t-shirts is not as easy as it sounds I don't even think it even sounds easy to be honest and then if you have those hundred t-shirts and you haven't really tested out the market and you realize that the audience that you were you know targeting don't actually like those t-shirts you're stuck with a hundred t-shirts and then in order to to then get the money to produce further collections you need to have sold those products but if you had started off with like maybe 20 t-shirts selling 20 t-shirts is a lot easier than selling 100 and if you sell out of those 20 t-shirts great having that scarcity in your brand is actually a form of marketing and you can actually then just go ahead and order more t-shirts and do it like that until you realize that okay maybe this t-shirt is you know the business and then you can go on and order like your hundreds and thousands but make sure you actually test out the market first number two and i feel like a lot of brands actually do this and that's launch into a cold audience or no audience before you launch ensure that you create a hype around your brand maybe make sure you have an instagram account a tiktok account build up your following before you launch and make sure you're actually launching to someone number three and i feel like this is one that a lot of creatives tend to ignore and that's not having a plan okay so this is like kind of cliche but what's the saying the saying goes mm, how does it go plan to fail fail no fail to plan plan to fail that's the saying and i really really stand by that make sure you have a business plan in place and the reason why a business plan is really important is because you get to explore different things that you may not have necessarily thought of so things like your marketing strategy your financial plan which is extremely important and it gives you the opportunity to actually analyze your target audience curate your customer avatar and really hone in on the people that you're trying to sell to number four and i feel like this is something that i have even battled myself but i've had to tell myself tally it's okay not to appeal to everyone so that's trying to appeal to the masses guys you need to have some sort of niche or a target audience that you're targeting in order to succeed in this clothing brand you need to have a clear target audience if you're trying to appeal to everybody then you're not really gonna speak to everyone i'll give you an example so say your clothing brand you're trying to sell to I don't know like yummy mummies but then you're also trying to sell to like I don't know like footballers you're not actually going to be able to speak to both yummy mummies effectively and footballers effectively just target the yummy mummies or target the footballers now number five and this is one that I feel like I'm very passionate about because I am quite passionate about business and that's neglecting the business side of your business business and what I mean by that I feel like with clothing brands and with creatives we tend to focus on the creative part of things so like your photo shoots your actual clothes and stuff but we don't focus on the business side of business which is just as important so that's managing your finances making sure you've got strategies and plan and having a plan on how you're going to grow and scale being a creative in this is actually not enough number six not pricing your products properly and effectively guys at the end of the day 
we start a business to make a profit we can't just start a business just willy willy nillingly and we you know we're just gonna price a t-shirt at 10 pounds because we bought it at five pounds and doubling it makes sense we need to make sure that we're pricing our products effectively having a low cost product doesn't necessarily mean that that product is going to sell a lot of the time when you price your products too low it means that you're not really going to turn over of profit and it's those profits that you need to then reinvest in your business in order for it to grow and if your business is not growing then that's you know road to failure to be honest with you now number seven is one that i still struggle with till this day and that's because i am a little bit of a control freak and that is doing everything yourself you have to tell yourself that sometimes somebody else is actually better than your job than you are number eight and this is something that i'm super passionate about and that's rushing your branding rushing your brand oh i'm just gonna make my logo black and white because you know it's clean and it's it's aesthetic and you know it works branding is a lot more than just a logo and just a color theme the way i see branding is how you want the person that sees your brand to feel when they see your brand number nine when it comes to dealing with your manufacturer a quick way to actually save money and save the back and forth is to use a tech pack and not using a tech pack for your business can be quite detrimental i actually have a tech pack guide on my website i'll put the link in my description so you can download it and use it it's a full-on tech pack and it's quite easy to use and it will help you out a lot when it comes to you know putting together what you want your manufacturer to make a detailed tech pack will save you time and money and time is money number 10 misjudging the price of other things that's not just your stock so that's things like advertising marketing your packaging all those sorts of things add up and if you don't have like a spreadsheet or it all written down you begin to misjudge you know how much these things actually cost and that impacts you know your pricing strategy which is important in order for you to make a profit and like i said before you need profits in order to scale in order to grow your business in order to order more stock and my final final reason why and i feel like this is actually probably the biggest reason why clothing brands fail and that's giving up too easily this clothing brand game it's a slow burner it's a marathon it's not a sprint you might see like some brands you know just going viral out of nowhere those brands haven't gone viral out of nowhere they've definitely put in the work and it takes a lot of time to actually be seen i watch a lot of like youtube videos myself about fashion one key thing that i've learned is that a lot of these like high-end brands that you see like these brands that have blown they would have been working tirelessly for like 10 years and then in their ele Ugh, can't talk and then in their 11th year that's when their brand blows. Obviously, it would be nicer for it to happen sooner, but guys, don't give up too easily. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's nice to be back, guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. As I mentioned, the subscribe thing is down here. I'm not sure which side it pops up on so please make sure you subscribe and like this video guys it really helps me get my content to more and more people and i will catch you guys in my very next video